Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and thanks for joining me. I've got another really good looking Aviate watch for you today. Now y'all know these are aviation inspired watches, hence the name Aviate. Anyway, they come out with some really good looking designs, at least I think they do. Anyway, today we have the P51 Mustang Blakesley Chronograph, and this is model number AV-4077-11. And as usual, we're going to look at the style, the build quality, the functions, the wearability, and loom. And then I'm going to let you know what I think of this new chronograph from Aviate. Also, make sure you check out my Amazon channel if you'd like any of the other watches I've reviewed on my channel. I do get a small commission if you buy from my Amazon store, so I definitely appreciate it. Guys, there's nothing special to tell you about the box. You've seen these Aviate watch boxes a million times. So let's go ahead and open this thing up. You know what you get inside. You get a microfiber cleaning cloth and a manual. You really don't need a manual for this watch. It's super easy to operate. There you go. It kind of reminds me of a tag when I first looked at it, to tell you the truth. Oh, these come in four other different colorways. I think this one and the blue dial one are probably the best looking ones of the bunch. Let's go ahead and open this thing up. There's your microfiber cleaning cloth and a little manual back there. And if you take out this little piece of foam, if I can get it, it says AV8 back there. There you go. So as usual, I'll go ahead and put up the specs on the left-hand side of the screen. If you want to see all the specs, go ahead and freeze frame it. I'm just going to give you the basic specs. All right. Good looking watch, man. Aviate really does put out some nice looking watches. I love their three dimensional dials. I think they're almost like the masters of the 3D dial. Their dials always have a lot going on. So let's go ahead and put up the specs on the left hand side of the screen. Again, if you want to see everything, go ahead and freeze frame it. You're looking at a 43 millimeter stainless steel case. It's 13 millimeters thick. It's 50 and a half millimeters lug to lug, and it's on a 22 millimeter stainless steel strap. Uh, it's water resistant to 50 meters, which is 165 feet. You got the uh, Seiko VK68-TMI Mecha Quartz. Again, just go ahead and freeze frame the specs if you want all of it. Uh, again, I think it's a fantastic looking watch. You've got those stencils for the indexes at 12, 3, 6, and 9. Uh, you got a multi-layered effect. It looks like around uh, around nine o'clock and six o'clock, it looks like they're like gauges. And that's all intentional. It takes design cues from the P51 Mustang. You got the sword style hands right there. If you look over here on the crown guard, it looks like the exhaust from the P51 right there on that fixed crown guard. Pretty cool, man. I'm not a big fan of fixed crown guards, by the way. Uh, this is just a push-pull crown, but it's a little hard to get out. I know that's the point of these fixed crowns. But I think they're just a little hard to uh, kind of navigate around. Not a big deal. Uh, again, it kind of reminds me of a tag, especially with that tachometer around the bezel. Uh, but again, it's a pretty, you know, original design. Now you can see in the light there where you've got the sub dials that are raised off the main dial, the uh, the nine o'clock and the um, three o'clock, and actually the six o'clock. They're all raised off the main dial right there. You got that little plaque right there. I think that says what one fifth of a second, I believe. Let me double check. Yeah, that says one fifth of a second. Uh, I just think it's a good looking watch, man. Aviate puts out a lot of these different designs. They're all named after different World War II planes and different pilots and stuff like that. Uh, not a super, you know, expensive watch, nor is it a super complicated watch. You've got that really nice uh, Mecha Quartz movement from Seiko. Now, one thing I really do like is that the pushers, they're, these are like custom pushers, and they're kind of uh, integrated into that crown guard. They've got a really nice click action to them. You can definitely feel it when you push it in. There you go. And then you push it in again. That stops it. There you go. And then reset. It instantly resets. If I can push it there. I just cut my nails. <laughs> so it's hard to push stuff. There you go. So, man, a good looking watch. Now, if you notice over here, you got your running seconds down here at 6 o'clock. All your chronograph features are over here at, at the uh, 9 o'clock subdial. Uh, this is your 24-hour time up here at uh, 3 o'clock. Again, good-looking watch, man. I even like the tiny little screws they're using for the subdials, if you can see those. The tiny little screws they're using for that little plaque up there at, what's that, about 2 o'clock. Uh, the stencils, really nice. Nice date windows, you can see down here at, what, 4.30. Uh, it's got a nice white uh, border around it, so it definitely delineates itself from the rest of the watch. The um, indexes are, they're not, um, they're like raised up. They're super tall and it, it's like they're floating on the dial a little bit, but they're actually just super tall. Got a nice border around each um, hand. 
Got that nice chronograph red accent on the chronograph hand. And again, you can see the 60 seconds down there at, uh, at uh, six o'clock. Good looking watch, man, really good looking watch. Uh, the case, you got some polishing on the sides over here, mostly brushed on the top, polished on the sides. Same thing with the, uh, the bracelet, brushed on top, polished on the sides. I was not expecting such a nice scissor clasp, by the way. There you go, nice scissor clasp. Of course, you've got the, uh, the AV8 logo on the buckle here, right there. Guys, that's a good looking watch. Let me show you the, uh, the case back, and I'm gonna show you some pictures here in a minute too. Got the P51 back there, screw down case back. It's only water resistant to 50 meters. I mean, it's not a dive watch. But I just like, I like that overall three-dimensional look to it. As you can see, if the, uh, the light catches it certain ways, you can see how the dials stand out. The sub-dials stand out from the rest of the dial. All right, guys, here's some of those pictures I was telling you about. You can see that 9 o'clock sub-dial. It's supposed to look like an instrument gauge. You can see little screws in there. You can also see one of the indexes. I guess the one at 11 o'clock. You can see how it's really, really tall. And you can see just basically a really nice three-dimensional effect of this dial. You can see the 12 o'clock index and that nice stencil. You can see the uh, the red on the chronograph second hand. You can see that nice little plaque between like one and two that says one fifth chrono seconds. Pretty cool, man. All right, the next one's gonna be the date window. Really nice white border around that date window. I love it. Again, you can see another one of those uh, sub dials down here at six o'clock. Again, made to look like an instrument gauge. And if you look right above the number 20, you can see where they're, again, they're layering that dial. And again, right next to the number 20, you can see one of those indexes. It's really, really tall, by the way. I think they're great looking. All right, the next one is just going to be kind of like an overview. You can see the multiple different layers of the dial. I apologize, guys. I wanted to get this in better focus. It was really hard to get a picture of it, though. All right, the next one is the uh, case back. You got a P51 there. Nice laser etched case back. And last but not least, you can see on the fixed crown guard, those little dots that's supposed to look like the engine exhaust from the P51. Again, not a huge fan of these fixed crown guards. They're kind of a pain, like I said, to navigate around. But, I mean, you know, they serve their function. And if you see on either side of that, flanking that crown guard are the uh, pushers. Again, those are like customized pushers just for this watch. They have a nice, nice push action to them, by the way. And, guys, that's it for the picks. So let's go ahead and try this thing on. And I've already tried it on. Spoiler alert, it fits great right out of the box. All right, there you go. Wow, fits really well, nice. Let's go ahead and give it a loom shot here. Now, I was really shocked by this loom. Aviate's not known for their loom, but on this one, the loom is a real standout, and I was pleasantly surprised by the quality and brightness of this loom. You can see it's already lighting up a little bit. They are definitely upping their loom game. Look at that, man. Wow. Really, really impressive. Good job, AV8. I like it, man. Great, great loom. Good looking watch, man. So guys, if you want to pick one of these up, head on over to AV8's website. They're coming out soon. They're not out right this minute. Uh, but when they do come out, I'll make sure to put a link in the description field for you. Just head on over to AV8's website. I think right now they have the sign up page. And I think these are going to go for $315. Again, there are four other variations of this. And again, I think this one and the blue version, the blue dial version, are the absolute best looking ones. This is actually called the Legion, I believe. Let me see here. Yeah, this is the Legion. So the Legion and the Silver Oak, I think, are my two favorites. Again, they're both, uh, since they're on stainless steel bracelets, they're both going to be $315. Head on over to Aviate's website. Go ahead and sign up for them. I thought they are going to be out last couple of days or so, but I guess they maybe pushed that out. But uh, anyway, again, $315 on Aviate's website. And guys, that's been about it for this one. As usual, please like and subscribe if you like this video. I definitely appreciate it if you do that. And uh, that's it, man. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next review. Take care. Bye-bye.